Gridlock, congestion, cars bumper to bumper, struggling to move in downtown Baltimore. It's terribly slow. It's um, painful constantly. It's just, it's bad. Drivers say it's gotten worse lately, especially during the rush hours. Everybody's trying to get, get home from work or get to, uh, get to office in the morning. It's tough. Baltimore City Councilman Eric Costello says he's gotten four to five dozen emails, calls or texts over the last 24 hours from people wanting answers. People are upset. They're frustrated. Downtown's in a complete state of gridlock uh, during peak hours in the morning and in the evening. We've been promised action by DOT and we haven't gotten that action. The City Department of Transportation is supposed to be synchronizing the lights downtown to alleviate traffic congestion. But according to Costello, there's a traffic signal timing issue. I'm not sure what's happening, to be frank with you. As of yesterday, they said that it was going to take a couple weeks to fix the signal timing. Uh, as of a conversation I had this morning, my understanding is that the chief traffic engineer uh, is working to deploy additional resources. Uh, they're working on it and they're going to communicate a plan ASAP. Costello says he wants answers soon. 11 News had trouble getting to them too. No one was available from the DOT to talk to us today. Instead, they sent us this statement saying the new timing patterns reduced congestion in certain areas but increased congestion in others. Quote, our traffic signal technicians will be making robust timing adjustments to the downtown network to ensure that traffic flow improves. We also have a full deployment of traffic enforcement officers assisting with the flow of traffic at critical intersections during peak hour travel times, end quote. One driver is hoping this is the worst it will get before it gets better. In the name of progress, hopefully something gets sorted out, but in the meantime, I guess we just got to wait it out. The DOT says the congestion should be eased within a few days. Councilman Costello says if it isn't, he's prepared to call the DOT before the city council next week. Reporting live downtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.